Now live with us in studio this morning is Army veteran and owner of Salvation Coffee in Burlington, Jim Young, and retired Marine Garrett Carnes. Thank you both for your service and thanks for coming on the show today to share, our, share your stories with us. Thanks for inviting us. Jim, at 17, you joined the Army. Why ultimately did you decide to serve? <laughs> Honestly, sheer boredom. Um, you know, there wasn't much to do. We didn't have phones and stuff like that. And um, I actually, I, I, it was just like a, a whim, which is normally how I do things. You, it's just on a whim, and and I went. And uh, you know, my mom, she she was a Marine, and uh, it just you know, it just seemed like the thing to do. So I did it. Yeah, for sure. And Garrett, you enlisted in the U.S. Marines in 2009. What was the decision like for you? Um, I never really had that deciding moment. It's all I ever really knew I wanted to do since I was a little boy. 9-11 uh, kind of cemented that. I was living in New York at the time. I was in the New York school system. And so that cemented it, um, the decision for me. But being a Marine, is it was like breathing to me as a child. It was, this is what I had to do, and it's the only thing I wanted to do. Every little boy dreams about growing up and being a soldier or a Marine, and I never grew out of that. I'm still a little boy. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Talk to us a little bit about the bond you had between your fellow soldiers while you guys were serving. <clears throat> well, I think the the bond, I mean, honestly, just the basic training when you're there and you 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 rely on these guys. Even um, when I was in, we weren't in uh, any battles or anything like that. Um, but you're still going through the training um, and you're there together. You're experiencing that together. and. And it's nice to, to have, like, I think when I, when I was in, they call me Ranger Buddy. And uh, you, you're, it's usually just you and your Ranger Buddy, you're digging foxholes and going through the dirt, going, experiencing the same thing, getting yelled at the same way in basic and in uh, infantry school and stuff. Um, I, I think, um, you know, that's, I still talk to the guys I was in with today. I don't think that, uh, I, I do think um, bonds that Garrett has with um, with his his friends are much stronger because of the the situation he was in is greatly different from mine and um, I'm you know I just I was just in and that was it I I didn't um, I I wasn't in any kind of battle but uh, the bonds and even um, Garrett we just met through the coffee thing and uh, we we have a bond I mean I love this guy to death and and. Uh, we're just, you know, we were soldiers. Um, yeah, I granted it was a different time. We both signed that, signed that check. And but Garrett has, uh, I'm, I'm sure he's got um, greater bonds and just been there and, and uh, more so than than I've, I have with my buddies that I was in with. Garrett, how about you? It's on you now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, we call it a brotherhood, and it's, uh, it's, it's deeper than brotherhood. So there's an old saying, blood is thicker than water, but there's a lot of confusion on that. Um, it's not blood, family blood, that makes you thicker than water. It's blood that's shed on the battlefield. That's where the saying originally came from. And that's true because when you are trained, not just on the battlefield, but when you're training, you are seeing humans at their very best, to their core. And you're exposing all of your weaknesses and vulnerabilities to these people around you. Um, you know that your life and your safety is in their hands and vice versa. And so to grow in that way together, um, this, th there's only one way that you can grow that way, and it's, it's on the battlefield. For sure, and that's really powerful. And Salvation Coffee is a really popular spot for Elon students. Can you talk a little bit about why and how it came about? <clears throat> um, well, I, when I came home from the service, I started um, a, a company, um, and uh, I did uh, audio video systems, surveillance systems and stuff for, um, cars and homes and commercial um, companies. And uh, I did that for about 30 years and I'd always liked coffee. When I was stationed in Germany, that was what you did. You went downtown and you sip, you know, a little espresso. Um, and uh, it was just, I just started messing with um, uh, different beans and di uh, different coffees, and and then it just it piqued my my interest and my curiosity. So I um, I got a little small coffee roaster and was playing around, and um, I was letting other people sample what I had roasted, and they liked it. Um, so so I, you know this 
might be a little side hustle because my my uh, company that I started, I did that out of love because I love doing that stuff. I love music and I love messing with electronics and and uh, cars and stuff. But um, it got to where it was work, so I needed something to to get my mind off of that work. And so we started doing that and uh, just roasting coffee and. I spoke to the city about what I needed to do to, um, if I wanted people to come in and sample what I was roasting, and I had to put a bathroom in. Plumbing was the, and it's like, well, that's the most expensive thing. So um, I went home that evening and I told my wife, so we're opening up a coffee shop. Oh, and amazing! So it turned into it. something so much yeah. more. And <laughs> thank you so much for being with us in the studio thank you. again, Jim Garrett. Thank you so much. Okay. And Elon, as you wake up today and every day, head over to Salvation Coffee and get yourself a tasty pick me up.